Hey everyone, it's May and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm May and I did Topeef in La Rochelle last year and now I'm making some videos talking about my experience. Today is going to be specifically a guide to La Rochelle, so I'm hoping this video reaches the right people because it's pretty niche. I think there were only maybe six or seven of us. Maybe there were more. Well, that's just English assistance. There were definitely more for other languages. So I don't know, maybe people from other countries will stumble across this. But anyway, if you're not going to La Rochelle, this really isn't going to be that helpful. Like I'm talking about the general stuff in the other videos and this is specifically geared toward La Rochelle. So watch it or don't watch it, whatever. I'm basically going to talk about a few different sections in this video. So grocery shopping, household shopping, transportation, fun things to do, and traveling from La Rochelle. That's kind of how it's going to be structured. So I lived in a studio apartment that was right above my high school and it was right in the center of town which was so amazing. So I lived right next to basically what was like the bus terminal. It's called Place de Verdun and it was so convenient because it was like me the big town square and then downtown was like this way and then the beach was like right there and there was a beautiful park right next to me. I could walk to the beach. It was an ideal setup. For grocery shopping I could walk to both Carrefour which was this way and Monoprix which was downtown. Carrefour was definitely my go-to. It's a very small store. It's a Carrefour city but they still have a lot of stuff and everything was cheaper and in my opinion better there than at Monoprix. Like their produce was just better and less expensive so I would highly recommend Carrefour. They also have like some select cleaning products and stuff for your apartment. So basically just if I couldn't find something there I would get it at Monoprix because it is a lot bigger but I'm telling you Monoprix is going to break your bank. It is ridiculously expensive and I'll get more on that in the household section but I would highly recommend trying to go to Carrefour over Monoprix. But hey to each their own. My hallmate who's from Spain thought that Monoprix was cheaper. She always liked shopping there. Agree to disagree. The cheapest grocery store I could find was actually called Leclerc and there wasn't one in the city center. So actually one of my schools is in Lagore and so when I would go there I would like go to that grocery store on the way home. Gigantic like Walmart sized and they have a ton ton of stuff. Like literally any food item you can think of, you can find it there. It's huge, especially for France, and everything is really inexpensive. I mean, not like dirt cheap, but compared to the city grocery stores, you're going to get a much better deal. It's just like if you're not living close to it, you have to take a bus and it's kind of annoying. There's also another grocery store called Entremarche, which was actually, it was a, a decent walk, but it was within walking distance from me but it like closed for construction at some point so I kind of forgot about it but that's another option that's more like Leclerc where it's a really big store it has a lot of options and they'll probably have everything you need for a better price. I definitely say it's worth it to go to one of those bigger stores when you first get there and you're setting up your kitchen like with spices and all the staple foods that you're, you're gonna need because you're gonna save a lot of money that way even if you have to take the bus. And then moving on to household shopping. For the love of God, please do not buy a single household item at Monoprix. I made this mistake and I'm here telling you to not do the same thing. It's just disgusting how high their prices are. And like when I first moved in, I was like, oh yeah, I remember Monoprix from when I studied abroad in Paris. Like, oh yeah, I really liked it, but I had never bought any household stuff at their store before. I spent like $20 on a pack of hangers. It was insane. I mean, euros, whatever. And then I realized that that was a giant mistake. Their selection also sucks, so don't think that you're like really missing out on anything. Just don't do it. You can maybe find a few things at Carrefour, but the main places I would go are Leclerc or Entremarche. They have like a whole kitchen supplies, householdy section. Like you can find hangers, mops, whatever. And then there's also a store, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was in the commercial center which is out of the city. So you have to take a maybe like 20, 30 minute bus ride there. Oh, I wrote it on here. I'm like looking at my notes on my laptop. It's called La Foi Fouy. So I'll write it on the screen right here so you can see. It's a huge department store and I got a few little decorations like little succulents and fairy lights for my apartment because I wanted it to feel like home. A blanket, a shower caddy, organizers to put my makeup and hair things in. Just everything that I needed and it was really reasonable. Also, there's Flying Tiger Copenhagen which is a little store downtown. They don't have a huge selection because it's such a tiny store but they do have super, super cheap household items like for a kitchen and bathroom. 
So if you need something, it's worth a look to see if they'll have it. Definitely budget friendly. For transportation, I found the bus system to be very reliable. I used it to get to work. I lived in my high school and I had to take the bus to both of my middle schools. And as I said, I live near like the biggest kind of bus terminal that almost every bus line goes through. So I could really get anywhere that I needed to. A bus pass is 23 euros a month. Apparently you can like get reimbursed for half of it. And I turned the paperwork into my my secretary but nothing ever came of it and I just gave up. I was like whatever it's not that much money. I didn't mind. Um, also a lot of people love riding bikes in La Rochelle. You'll see that it's a very bike friendly city like there's very clearly marked bike lanes. Lots of people love biking. I wasn't given a bike and I didn't really feel like buying one when I just took the bus or walked because like I said I lived in the city center but I know another assistant who lived at a school that was a little outside of the city center had a bike and she really liked it and found it convenient. She was given one by her school. You can also rent the city bikes. It's called Yellow and they're like stationed in a bunch of different places. It's super easy. You just get the app on your phone, unlock it, take it where you need to go and then you can just park it anywhere. It costs money of course but not that much. But yeah, walking is also a pretty viable option if you live in the city center. The city is not that big. And then now for fun stuff, things to do. La Rochelle may be a small city, but it has a lot to offer. I originally was hoping to get placed in Nice. I put that region as my first choice. And then I think I put Montpellier as my second and Poitiers as my third, just because I knew there was a chance I might end up by the ocean. And then I got La Rochelle and I ended up being really happy. And I was actually glad I wasn't in a bigger city because it had a really good vibe to it. So anyway, the first thing I have to let you guys know about is the ice cream shop in La Rochelle called Ernest. You absolutely have to go there. Like, it is a requirement. <laughs> They'll be closed for most of the time you're there, like the whole winter, but at the beginning and at the end, you have to go and get some ice cream. It's amazing. There are two downtown. There's two different locations. So good going off of that there's the port so like when you walk downtown it eventually leads out to the port like if you google La Rochelle probably the first thing you see is those two towers that's the port so there's just all these boats the water and the towers there's actually a little bar like a rooftop bar in one of the towers that I went to with the other assistants at the beginning and it was so fun it's overpriced of course but it's fun so highly recommend that there's lots of just tons of restaurants it's like a little semi-circle restaurants and shops and then it kind of also goes this way it's super fun. There's also a really pretty park. It was right next to where I lived so I went on a walk like almost every day because it was so gorgeous. It parallels the city center so you, you'll find it and like it's kind of broken up by streets and there's kind of an off the road path by the creek where you can see ducks or there's a path that's more paved where people bike and stuff so you can decide which way you want to go and then it kind of leads you right to the beach. The park was honestly one of my favorite things <laughs> about it. It's just so peaceful so I'd highly recommend. There's also a petting zoo and they have goats and peacocks and it's really cool so you can walk back that way too and see that. It's free. So yeah there are three beaches that are in the La Rochelle area and the, there's one that the park leads into which is called Plage de la Concurrence and then there's also Les Minines which you can walk to it's probably like a 40 minute walk or something or you can take the bus I don't know I think it's considered like an area of La Rochelle and there's a Les Minines beach really pretty and they also have a really good ice cream shop over there called Tonton Maboul it's amazing to die for get an ice cream go to the beach enjoy the scenery and then walk home and then there's also oh my god I forget how to pronounce it it's either chef I think it's chef de bay or it's chef de bay I think it's chef de bay <laughs> that would be quite a long walk I biked it and I took the bus and walked part of the way but it's like if this is the park and the first beach it's like that way and Lamy Neem is that way Oh god, I'm already losing my sense of direction. I am terrible at directional stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's that way. It's a really nice bike ride. I would recommend doing it by bike. I rented a city bike to do it. None of the beaches are really big or like if you're from somewhere in the US like me from California where we're used to really big beaches. It's not like that. It's really small so it's, it's not like the best beach ever and when it's at low tide it's really underwhelming because you can't swim and the water's all the way out there and it's like marshland but you just have to look up when high tide is and go swimming then or if you just want to tan then whatever but it's still really nice to live by the beach. There is a movie theater downtown. I never went to it but if you're into that 
there's one of those. And there's also a natural history museum and it was down the street from me, but by the time I got around to looking into going, it was under construction. So, or renovation or whatever, so I didn't get to go to that, but it did seem cool. Then there's the aquarium, which La Rochelle is kind of known for. It's downtown and it was cool. They had lots of different types of fish. They had a sea turtle, which I loved. They had a really cool, like, rainforesty part of it. My friend and I went there and spent like half the day there and they have a really cool gift shop. So yeah, that's a fun thing to do like if you're first getting there, maybe like if you want to get together with the other assistants, see if they want to go to the aquarium and check that out together and then get lunch or something. And then the other kind of famous part of La Rochelle and another popular thing to do is going to Ile de Ray. So it's like an island that's off the coast of La Rochelle. There's a few other ones, but that's like the closest. And there's a bus that goes there because there's a giant bridge you could bike it. I actually told myself I was going to bike it, but then I saw that the city bike range didn't go there, and so I wasn't sure if I would like get in trouble or something, and then I looked really at how many miles it was, and I was like, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Like, it's not an easy bike ride. <laughs> but anyway, there is a bus that goes there, but it's not the city bus. It's a coach bus, so you have to pay even if you're paying for the city transport pass. There's only like, I don't know, four something round trip, so it's really not the end of the world. Probably the most popular place to go to on Ile de is Saint Martin, and I'd recommend it. Like, it's fun. There's a lot of restaurants and shops but it doesn't really have a good beach so if that's what you're looking for the two beach places I went to with my friend are ours and Le Blanc Plage and it's really nice like that's where you're gonna get the big beach vibes and where it doesn't matter if it's high tide or low tide the water just goes out or in but there's no marsh that comes out from under it really good swimming it's fun we didn't actually swim at ours because that was in December and it was way too cold but then we went to Le Bois Plage in like April or something and it was a really warm day and it was so nice so the only thing I would say about Ile de Ray is like it's kind of dead if you go like expecting anything vibrant or a lot of people. I'm sure in the summer it's like overrun with tourists, but like especially in the winter, there were really not that many people there. And in Saint Martin you'll see the restaurants and stuff, but like if you just like walk around the town, like you might not even find anything open. Like if you're in just like in a random town there, like I think we were looking for something to eat after going to the beach in Le Bois Plage and there was like nothing. You couldn't even find a bakery open, but there's always like a car for or something that you can find or a you or whatever that other grocery store was, I forget. You'll find something, but it's not like, it's not hopping, at least not when I went. <laughs> okay, and finally, traveling. Some really fun day trip ideas from La Rochelle would be to go to Bordeaux, which is south, Nantes, which is north, or to Sant. You can get to those places by train and it's pretty inexpensive, especially if you have the youth discount card, which I mentioned in another video. But if you haven't seen that yet, definitely get the, it's called the youth advantage card or something with the trains. And if you're under 26, you can get a huge discount. The card costs 50 euros, but you save so much money. More local day trips would be to Aitre or Angoulin, which are little towns like right next to La Rochelle and you can just bike to them or take a bus. Those are the ones I did, but other options are Niort, Rochefort, and Poitiers, which are pretty close by train. Technically, I went to New York, so we had our orientation there, but I didn't really see anything in the city, so I don't really count it. Technically, there is an airport in La Rochelle if you're looking to travel, you know, farther, but it doesn't really have that many destinations, and most of its travel times are in the summer. Like, you are unfortunately there, well, Fortunately, because you don't have to deal with all the tourists that it would be overrun with, but unfortunately, just because it would be easier to get around in the summer, you're there during the off season. The Spanish assistant that lived on my floor was able to fly out of the La Rochelle airport to go to London, but I looked and it really wasn't going anywhere that I needed to go, so <laughs> I never used it. And so basically your options for flights then are going through Bordeaux, Nantes, maybe Poitiers or Paris because they all have bigger airports. Just keep in mind that like you're gonna have to allow for a ton of time to get there because wherever you go you need another mode of transportation to get from the airport to the train station. Like I personally chose Bordeaux because like I would just kind of compare the prices and the time and see what was worth it. And so I would take the train to Bordeaux and then once I got to the train station there's a line one city bus. I would allow 
at least an hour, if not an hour and a half, just in case, like from what time your train arrives to what time you want to get to the airport. But I'd say the bus ride takes maybe 40 or 50 minutes. And it's just, you start at the train station and you go all the way to the end of the line to the airport. So really simple, just one bus. I don't know how it works in the other places, but I would just say to keep in mind that if you're going to fly out of Paris and you're flying with Ryanair, the airport in Paris that Ryanair flies out of is not in Paris at all and it's gonna be pretty far away. So when you have to take the train into Paris and you have to take a whole nother bus, like all the way out of Paris, it's called Bouvet. So I've never been there, but I just know from study abroad that some people ran into that situation. And like, you can do it, like get your cheap flight, but just kind of take into account all the money you're gonna be spending to get there and all the time. I don't know if it's worth it. Ryanair flies out of Bordeaux too, like I flew with them. So anyway, traveling by plane like isn't the most convenient, but you can make it work. I only did it twice when I flew to Dublin and then when I flew to Austria. Otherwise, I was traveling by train like within France and I'd highly recommend that as like the most convenient form of travel for sure. But obviously you're in Europe, you probably wanna go other places. So that's just like how it's gonna go. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if this video will have found the future La Rochelle assistance. Hopefully it did. But if you have any questions or need any help with anything, please let me know. My goal is to impart some wisdom to you before you go so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. But yeah, leave any questions down below. And if you're at the Lycée d'Ote, say hi to the teachers for me. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day or night.